What's up guys and welcome to my first ever playthrough of Fatal Frame or if you prefer Project Zero Maiden of the Black Water. Uh, I got early access to this game, very very fortunate that I was able to get early access. Uh, I will be streaming this on my Twitch channel uh, tomorrow but I thought I would put out a little video now. Uh, you should be seeing this just as the game goes live. Uh, but I have a little bit of early access, so I'm going to play the first hour. I've never played this game before. I have played previous Fatal Frames, uh, but I've never played this one, which I think was originally on the Wii U. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into our playthrough. Oh, and if you are worried, because I have seen some people talking about it in Steam forums, yes, there's keyboard support, because when I open the game, I could do keyboard stuff. I haven't tried it in game, though, so please don't judge me if I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, let's go. Set the brightness so you can see the ghost's face at the end of the arrow. I don't want to see ghosts. Alright, and like all gamers, I'm going to put it way brighter than needed. Nah, nah, we'll leave it as default. <laughs> this game is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual people or organizations is entirely coincidental. Those warnings are always way too quick for me to read. Prologue. Lurking in the deep. I'm not even going to try attempting that name. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit away. In the vicinity of Mount Hikikami, people have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Mui Hinesaki. She appears to find herself in an old, half-flooded building. Alright, I'm excited. I, I actually have no idea what to expect. I've never seen any gameplay. Well, I've seen the camera mechanic in some clips before, but never any actual gameplay of this. So I'm going in like a, a total noob. I'm ready to be scared. If you're new to my channel, I really, really love horror games. Uh, so, yeah, getting access to this early is a big deal for me. And they were kind enough to give me the deluxe edition. Mwah! So I get all the fancy outfits. Thank you. Alright, we're very cold and we're very wet. Uh, I have heard some discussion about bikinis. I don't know if they're in this game. <laughs> but apparently we're in an older version. I'm sure we'll find out. I've heard there's some kind of wetness mechanic. Which sounds hilarious. I'm sure it's a lot more sinister than it actually sounds to me. <laughs> That's not good. Oh wow, this looks really nice. I have to get out of here. Alright, there's our exit. Oh shit. Move in the direction you want to walk. That's that's normally how I do it. <laughs> oh, I'm really encumbered by the war though. Thankfully that they also seem to be encumbered, although this one's getting a little bit too close to my liking. No, no, thank you. I have to find a way out of here, okay. Now, I don't know if this is an original language or if it's dubbed. Uh, we'll, we'll see when there's actually some proper dialogue going on. Do I want to play dub? Do I want to be one of those people? Maybe that'll be easier for you guys. We'll see. I normally love original voice acting. There's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's, uh, that's the way out. Uh-oh. Very sexy ghosts. They're chasing after me. I have to get out. Alrighty. Oh no.
That seems fine. <laughs> totally normal occurrence. <laughs> Press LT to point the camera straight ahead. Alright. Well, we definitely don't want to go that way. For a minute there, I thought I was doing like a Resident Evil 360 turn, and then I was I was surprised when it didn't happen. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. I, I guess this is the aforementioned Dark War. Or Black War. Alright, turn around. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, we made it. Ah, oh, thankfully, I thought that was a coffin, but... Uh, maybe it is? Okay, no, we're fine. After hearing some of the rumours about the original version, I can see why you might want a bikini in this game. <laughs> Just for functionality, if anything. What is it? What's in the box? <gasps> that, that is a lot of hair. But about the usual amount that I find in my, uh, my shower plug hole after my girlfriend's had a shower. <laughs> Oh wait, she's getting choked! Alright, well that set the tone perfectly. If the rest of the game is like this, I'm sold. Yui Hinasaki has disappeared. I'm sorry about the pronunciation. <laughs> no one could hear her cries for help as she was sealed into a shrine at the top of a mountain. The mountain is where the events of this story take place. We follow the fates of three people. Yuri, Ren, and Mui? Yeah, Mui, question mark. It's a terrifying tale of the supernatural. Project Zero, Maiden of the Black Water. Alright, got an achievement. Lurking in the Deep. That was a cool intro. First drop, a vanishing trace. Yuri Kozukata. There we go, that was pretty good. <laughs> Sh uh, shadow Reading. Among the residents of the village at the uh, foot of Mount Hikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. The ability known as shadow reading enables the user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in explicable circumstances. This is not unlike the psycho psychometry practiced elsewhere. D did I read that right? <laughs> uh, Yuri Kozakata accompanies Hisaka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses the shadow reading ability to an abandoned inn in Mount Takami. All right. Sensing Yuri uh, could in time become talented at shadow reading, Hisoka takes her along on an assignment. Alright, so we're going ghost hunting. I didn't realise this was like, is it like chaptery or episodic? I'm liking all the little intros at the beginning of each chapter so far. Maybe that's just how the intro is structured. I thought that I'd be scared of death. Oh, it is dubbed. But I can't even cry. A 
That seems like a precarious place to stand, madam. I am alone. In the end, I am alone. I will end it all. Alone. Yuri? What we're, what we're looking, looking for, for should be in here. here. This is this an is excellent an chance, chance for you to take the lead. Ah, I know all about that camera. Here, take this. The obscure. Ah. This, this is a camera, is a camera obscure. obscure. It will, it will let, let you see, see the unseen, unseen. Including, including the clues that will help you find, find what we're here, here for. for. This, this is your is opportunity, opportunity, your first, first case. case. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm sure you'll, you'll do, well. do well. This is really cool. I I, I really didn't know what to expect. This it is works very cool. Exactly like a normal camera. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. Alrighty. Say cheese. Okay. The camera obscura photographs the netherworld, a whole other world separate from our own. That world that we see through the lens is not unlike the other. Alright, looking good. Make sure not to draw too much interest from the things you see. If you aren't careful, you might be drawn into the netherworld yourself. Oh, I see. We can get two at the same time. Ah, got you, got you. Use LB and RB to follow. Hold the capture arrow vertically to photograph free simultaneously. Wait, LB and RB? Oh, oh, I was pressing both at the same time. <laughs> there we go. That's cool. All right, I got it, I got it. I've mastered it. Hold LT to lock on targets and press RT to take a photo. Uh, I'm definitely going to forget all these buttons, but that's just me. <laughs> Boom. I I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? Hold LT to lock on to targets. Oh. I see. It wasn't exactly bustle. Take this. You got the post-mortem photograph. It's a token. It will help lead you to what we're looking for. Now don't panic, but be sure to stay on your guard. Go on and head inside. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? <laughs> what is, wait, what does this do? Oh, this is my map, duh. I really could just read what she's saying. Press LB and X to open snap mode at any time to capture something. Uh, I, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> Left bumper, X. X. Oh, right. If you're playing on an Xbox controller, it's A. There was me thinking I'd, I'd lost the plot. <laughs> this is a post-mortem photograph. It's not just a normal photograph that was taken to mourn the dead. It's why Redman sent us here. All right, cool. So we're doing some ghost hunting. This photo came from somewhere around here, and he wants us to see what we can find on Oh, I see hands. That That's definitely not usual. I've already forgotten how to bring my camera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I guess probably walking out with it in my hand is probably the best idea, isn't it? And get used to how it works. Okay, that's how you do it. 
Alright, we look for spirits. Definitely hands there, but they've moved on. I don't know if this is a bad way to play, but... <laughs> Maybe you can't see the ghost if you're in the right, wrong perspective. We'll find out. I, I really do like going into games blind like this and having no idea. I'm sure plenty of people would have played this game previously and they're just playing this because it's coming out on different formats, but for me it's com a completely fresh game. There's a heap of scrap wood at the end of the hallway. The wall must have washed it all down here. There's a hole in the wall. I can see to the next room over. It looks like it's just flooded. Or just as flooded, I should say. Alright. Did it say I can run? Oh, it did, but I got a cutscene the minute I did. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing this is the ghost. Big face reveal. There we go. All right, I should probably whip my camera, right? Are they on the move? Yeah, they seem to have vacated the area. All right, upstairs we go. Yuri, wait. I can sense something. Called a trace. Ah. A shadow, a shadow of the past. The, past. the token is showing you the way. way. Alright, that makes life a little easier. Right path. Let's, follow Let's follow that, that shadow. shadow. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna forget all these controls. Okay, that's to run. That's my camera. That's to follow the trace. Okay, alright, we got it. Alright, let's run a little bit. What's this? Yeah, hang on. I want to find out what this item is. Oh, you have to hold it down. I really thought somebody was going to jump scare us there. <laughs> Mick Cowie's uh, downfall. An old dusty book has dropped left of the hallway. Maybe someone dropped it. My Hikami... I'm going to stop saying that. Mount Hikami <laughs> has long been considered the holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the Twilt Peak and the Pool of Purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest at Ichiru Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide that it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off and the flow of the water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had to be abandoned and Itru Manor was buried under a slew of rocks, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Itru Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Takami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Perhaps because it was traditionally a destination which the dying would venture, the mountain is now a place of wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill seekers interested in the occult. Of course it has. And I'm sure that's gone great for them. <laughs> As we're playing a horror game. Alright. God damn it. That was a terrible picture. But we know it's the innkeeper. Was that a shadow of the past? Echoes of the past. In places where the traces of the past were very strong, you may be able to view echoes of the past. Photographing them will earn you uh, photo points, which can be used to upgrade the cameras. Alrighty. Okay, so that wasn't a main ghost. That was just like a, another residual effect of him. 
I have no clue where that went. <laughs> oh, okay, there he is. I just know there's a jump scare coming. We haven't had one yet. The door is locked. It appears we need a key. Try using the camera obscura. Really? This camera can do everything. Tutorial, psychic photographs. When you look around through the lens of the camera obscura, you may notice it reacting to objects which are not normally visible. Lock on and photograph them to expose places of items they have connection with. Find locations for the photographs and you may discover some clues there as well. Alright. Ah. We take a photo. Oh god, what is that? Okay, it's linked us to a room with a creepy doll in it. I don't like it. There's something in the photo. Yeah, I see it. There's a light coming out of the closet and there is a doll on top of a chest of drawers. This might be where the key is. Find a place shown in the photograph. It's someplace in this building. To view the photograph again, open the main menu and go to the tokens tab with item and records. Here, you go on ahead of me and look for the key to the door. I'll wait for you here. Sure. What could go wrong? <laughs> I'm, I'm a trainee, ghost hunter. <laughs> oh shit. That is a hanging man, unfortunately. Should I get a photo of him? I guess I should. I feel a little bit disrespectful. Oh, he's gone. Alright, I did see this room as we were walking over. Alright, no residual effects on it. Aha! This is the room. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Thank you, tutorial. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting you have to hold down to pick it up. So if it looks like I'm cancelling the animation, that's why. This makes you think something will grab me at some point. Otherwise, why would they have this? You got the key on the red chain. It might open that door. Well, it better. Oh, that's cool. It marks it on your map where you need to take it to. Oh. Man looking at a key. Oh man, I could have got a better photo. Now this doll has to give us something, right? Really? Nothing? You look so spooky. Alright. I'll take your word for it, game. <laughs> well, the proprietor seems to be following us around right now. Alright, I'm back. I found the key. I think I'm fully trained and ready for my first ghost battle. Take a look around. Locate the requested item. Wait, were we here for an item? <laughs> oh, this might be it. Phantom Expos. The camera obscure reacts to items that are normally hidden from the eyes of the living. You can bring those items back to the world by photographing them and placing them taken from the correct angle and position. Focus on the item by tilting the viewfinder while holding LT and then press... Okay, alright, got it. Oh, oh, I see! That is a cool mechanic. So you have to, like, tilt your camera angle exactly right to make it appear. Hey, there we go. Got it. Easy. Can I pick it up now? Oh, I said easy and then it didn't appear. <laughs> I, I, did, I did it wrong. Never mind. Don't judge. Maybe it wasn't quite solid. Is that good enough? Oh. There we go, we did it. I didn't realize it had to go red. Easy, he says twice. <laughs> hmm. 
This is what we came here for. We shouldn't stay here any longer than we need to. You're right. Let's head back before it gets dark. Okay. okay. Wait, this isn't dark? <laughs> oh, I guess it was uh, the sun was setting outside in some of those rooms we saw. Oh, oh, oh. I, I see a man. Should we try and get a picture of him? Let's let's try. Yuri, searching for objects like we did just now might be easy, but searching for people is much more difficult. Psychometry allows you to see the psychic imprint as a shadow. Hmm. Never follow after the shadow of something that's been spirit. You might end up seeing something you wish you hadn't. Ooh. Well, that sounds ominous. And definitely something is going to happen. <laughs> so I, should, I shouldn't look at shadows, she said. Or the shadow of a spirit. Whatever that means. Oh. He was there again. I'm ready. Sissy no scope picture, I like it. Oh shit. Okay, this is bad. Ghosts are trying to tackle grab you. Okay. What? This this is a lot to handle. <laughs> The ghost recalled when you took a photograph. Maybe taking some more exercise if we're good. I mean, it sounds like a good theory. Fighting ghosts. Photogra uh, photograph a ghost's weak point to do damage to them. To capture the area, the reticle in the area of the screen is your area of attack. You cannot take photos if you're out of film. Oh, I have to have film too? Press Y to enter photo mode. Okay. Alright, we got his head in focus. Come here. Make sure to center. Okay. Is that is that good enough for you? There we go. You, you look great. While the film is being reloaded, oh no, I didn't read it quick enough. He's saying bad things about me. Okay, I, I feel like I failed. <laughs> Spirit fragments. Spirit fragments break off a ghost and take damage after a time they reabsorb. Photograph the fragments before that happens. Okay. T oh, but there's so much to learn. Tutorial. Targets and shutter chance. When five or more targets are in view, taking a photograph will knock back the ghost. The capture area will go red during the shutter chance. I have seen that. Keep adjusting your position so you have at least five targets, including ghosts and spirit fragments, in view to trigger shutter chance. Press right trigger to use the film and photograph attacking ghosts. Okay. Got him. Okay, so this is... Ah, there we go. Okay, I understand. That was my shutter chance. Find ghosts indicated by the spirit filament, the red marks on the screen. Okay. Hello, friend. Fatal frame and fatal time. When the capture area flashes red as a ghost is attacking you, you can take a fatal frame shot. You need to capture the ghost mid-attack. Really? 
Apart from the knockback effect, Fatal Frame Shot triggers Fatal Time, when you can take foes in the close succession without using Felt. Fatal Frame Shots are very useful when spirits are too close to you to trigger shot a chance. Huh. Ah, I'm scared! Oh, I see, and you use that to get them off you. Attractor goes to tension and await its attack. Do I have to? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> so wait for him to attack? Boom. That's how you do it. We'll give him another chance to attack. Oh, is he dead? No, no, he's not dead. Attack range and attack power. The camera scorer only has an effect on ghosts with a specific range. Ghosts that are too far away will not take any damage. The bigger the target, the big O, uh, the more damage the camera will deal. Get closer to the ghost for more powerful shots. That sounds like a terrible idea. Okay. Use the camera scorer to banish the ghosts. Alrighty. We're going in. Closer the better, eh? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm out of film. All right, we'll back off a second. Getting closer. Huh. You look great. Boom. There we go, we got a shot chance. Is he dead yet? <laughs> I mean, he's always dead, I guess. I, I feel like it's not over. No, it said when I see a red. Where, where, where? Oh, here he is. Oh my god, that was close. I almost didn't see him in time. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go, we got an achievement. So he has to be dead, right? Yes. I love that sound effect. <laughs> Did I do it, boss? Did I do it? Oh, I got a hug, so I must have done good. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought you here. It's fine. It'd be a boring game if you didn't. I am alone. Oh, another flashback. Child with a knife. I've seen Halloween. Is she real? Oh, she is. She looks so doll-like. Oh no! Ah, that's like one of the boxes that we saw full of hair earlier. Maybe this is something for like containing spirits. Mr. Hojo? Hisoka came by a little while ago. Oh, Hisoka. What does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here. Take a look.
What is it? Oh, it's a scene from back then. While learning about the shadow reading from Ahsoka, Yuri used the ability to retrieve an album of post-mortem photographs. Oh, I see, this is what we got on our mission. From a ruined inn on Mount Hikami, the album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo. As Ren awoke from a bad dream, he found himself tormented by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream, or was it a suppressed childhood memory? The question has plagued him for some time. Wait, was he the little boy? Oh, interesting. Very cool. Damn, do I, do I leave it there? I, I don't think we do, I think we play a little bit more. <laughs> also, I did terrible, we got C. Obviously, I always want S, but <laughs> we'll take it. A Vanishing Trace. The following additional content has been added, past protagonist costumes. Thank you, thank you to the publishers, thank you to the developers for the early access. <laughs> That is how I'm allowed to have these costumes. Uh, I think you'll find this in the deluxe edition of the game. Thank you. I appreciate you. I am a big weeb for that kind of stuff, so thank you very much. All right, let's see what we got so far. Okay, very cute. Very cute. Oh, points. You can purchase this with points. Current point. Ah, oh, no, I'm just under enough points. God damn it. Punk Ensemble, that sounds cool. No, I'm just under. I'm assuming this is an in-game currency that you earn. Blue swimsuit for those looking. <laughs> and it looks like there's a bunch of other hidden ones too. The maid's hairband. Can I not preview them? It would be cool to preview. Well, I've seen some of these online because they're on the pre-order page. Hmm. No, you're not debating me. Oh, you have outfits for everyone. Wow, this is this is some good fan service actually. This is a lot of cool outfits. Very cool. The tormented. Oh man. Well, like I say, I don't have enough points yet. I'm assuming you earn points. For your picture taking and stuff like that. I have seen the punk ensemble uh, on the pre-order page of the official website and it looks sick so I'll probably be playing that uh, for most of my playthrough. All right let's continue like this for now. I'm gonna stop weaving out. <laughs> yeah that's fine. We'll be seeing more of that in the future. Oh yeah there we go look episode 8%, ghost list 0%, archive 0%, total points 900. Oh I was so close. If only I'd been a better photographer. It's been several days since the incident at the inn. Hisoka is out on a case. A young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. Yuri is given a missing person case. Something Hisoka forbade. All right, let's go. Second drop, Mount Hakami, Yuri, Kozukata. A few days apart is Yuri's introduction to the shadow reading at the abandoned inn. Since then, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri worries for Hisoka, but isn't, sh uh, isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits waiting at the antique shop, a girl named Fuyu ha he Fuyu he Fuyu hi Hamino <laughs> shows up, claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. I really want to pronounce her names correctly. <laughs> Don't make it difficult for me, game. I'm probably just going to read really slowly for this whole game. I'm quite a fast talker, but to pronounce these names correctly, I'm going to slow myself down a little bit. All right, antiques, un café. That's right, they're, little, they're like a little bit of French in different parts of Asia. All right, a very cool antique shop. Anti cameras. Um, excuse me. Hello. Um, I'm, I'm looking, looking for Hisoka for Kurosawa. Kurosawa. Is she here? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry but she stepped, stepped out. out. 
My name is Fiyu Hihimino. I've been waiting for her to tell me if, if she could help me find someone. I still haven't got a reply from her. You're looking for someone? She might have gone to the mountain. Mount Hikami. Mount Hikami. Someone told me that they saw my friend there. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? I don't know why Haruka would go to a place like that and without even saying a word to me. Hmm. Don't worry. As soon as Ahsoka gets back, I'll tell her. No. That's fine. I can't wait any longer. I'll go look for her myself. The guilt trip. Huh? It's working. Come back. She she seems sus. I'm going I'm going with my gut right now and saying this girl seems sus. A missing person's case. Hisoka left a few days ago and hasn't been back. Maybe this is what she's been working on. Is it though? <laughs> Hisoka's room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. This is very cool. I, I'm, I'm addicted to this game already. I'm going to put that right out there. I'm not just saying that because I got early access to this game. I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty riveted so far. Even the tutorial, like, you know, just learning stuff was actually really interesting. So now that we're getting into the meat of it, I didn't realize we were kind of like, I don't know, we're kind of like spirit detectives in a way. I wasn't really expecting that. All right, is this the room? Oh yes, it's the only one up here. That's convenient. <laughs> Nothing worse than opening fifty doors and it's saying it's locked. Resident Evil. <laughs> I love Resident Evil. <laughs> Hisoka gave me this room when I moved in. Uh, it used to be her bedroom. It's been a while since I moved in, but I still not. Yes, your your room is a dump. There's boxes everywhere. But maybe that'll make it easy to search for things. There are some basket file cases on top of the dresser. Ahsoka set them out for me, but I'm not sure what to do with them. Ahsoka put this desk here for me. This used to be Ahsoka's bedroom, but she's freed it up for me to use. Well, she seems like an incredibly nice person. It's a big box of... Uh, it's a big pile of cardboard boxes. I haven't touched them since I moved in. Am I in the wrong room? <laughs> I thought we would find what we're looking for immediately. Maybe, maybe there was another room and I didn't see it. Why did she open the door so slowly? <laughs> I'm sure that's for dramatic effect when we're in somewhere scary, but... <laughs> Hilarious that she does it at home too. Oh, my bad. There's a whole other part up here. Yeah, we just looked in the wrong room. Oh, I love sliding doors. They're so cool. Very, very authentic. Alright, this has got to be it. This is Ahsoka's room. She really likes traditional Japanese style. Yeah, it's very cool. An envelope who left on the desk. The sender's name reads... She did say it. Fuhu Himono. This must be Fuhu's missing person request. <laughs> Maybe we can find some clues as to where Ahsoka and Fuhu have, have went. Dear Miss Kurosawa, uh, please find Haruka. She's been missing over a week ago. You still do take a missing person in cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they are no help. They say she was probably spirited away. Haruka would have gone anywhere without telling me. Ha wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? I'm worried sick. Haruka is still alive, I know it, but something has to be done, and quick. Remember when you found the precious picture of me and Haruka? I was so happy to have it. Now I need your help once again. Ah, that's cute. There was a photograph with the letter. You know what? That girl, I, I'm sticking with my original thoughts. She looks a spirit. Look at that face. She looks sus. It shows you who looking shy. Another girl. Yeah, shy is not the word I would have chosen. <laughs> so, so, she must have gone to Mount Hikami to look for this girl. Sounds about right.
Mount Hikami. A place where many come to take their lives. I'm positive that for you he must have come here. I wonder if every mission is based around this mountain. I'm assuming it is. Which will make it all the more fascinating. Mount Hikami <laughs> is somewhere on this mountain. I should be able to use this picture to find her. Wait, picture of her to find- oh, her trace, my bad. I can't read. If you haven't been to my stream before, you probably know that already. <laughs> no, you don't if you haven't been there. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's our trace. Oh. Ah, there we go. Alright, so she went up the stairs. This is the first time I've kind of been let loose with the controls. And they feel pretty good. The Pool of Purification. Oh, they spoke about that in the notes earlier. Also, loading time is very quick. These, these are all important things to me as a PC gamer. So as I'm getting early access, if you guys are watching this and going, do I need to buy this game? Yes, everything's perfect so far. <laughs> I haven't found a single problem. Oh yeah, this is looking more and more sus all the time. All right. I'm getting a little bit better with the controls now too. There's something on the ground. I'm assuming I don't need to take a picture because it's visible. <gasps> oh! All right, I'm sorry if you can hear me spamming my controller. <laughs> I knew something like that was gonna happen eventually. Sometimes the ghost hand will appear when you try to reach out for an object. Release RT at the right moment to dodge it. If you get grabbed, all right, I get it. A tourist brochure. I wonder if who who dropped it. It has a map of the mountain. Oh, wow, cute. It should be very useful. So this is the way from the Pool of Purification to the Unfathomable Forest. Got it. Okay, I got it, I got it. Also, I noticed the word ghost list there. We haven't been told about that yet, but that, that sounds terrifying. That means we're gonna emit a lot of ghosts of varying types. Actually, it actually sounds awesome. <laughs> Warfall is beautiful as it flows down. A lot of people probably came to see this back when the mountain was a tourist destination. There's something under the waterfall. Do I want to risk it? You got purifying embers. Coals are like the forbidden flame. They dry you and remove the taint of the black water. Ah, so that's the the water mechanic I read about. The wetness scorch to the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. If you get drenched, you become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Using purifying embers to dry yourself off. Ah, okay. So how do I do that? Did it say and I just missed it? <laughs> I like how they put the fear of God of you every time you pick up an item. <laughs> it's gonna get me eventually. Oh, we got it again. Okay, we're fine. Pills made from myriad of herbs. Consuming them will restore some health. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, spirit's going that way. This is quite a linear path, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh, we're going to get grabbed. I'm calling it. No, we're good. I have no clue if I should be drying off right now. Oh, I guess the meat will indicate it, so like it'll it'll give us a prompt. Oh yeah, I'm getting pretty damp right now. 
There's something in the water. Stop making me get wet. Oh, no, we're safe again. Hisoga's camera obscura. What's it doing here? You've got the Type 14 film. All right, that, that means nothing to me. Old film is not effective on exercising ghosts as it takes too long to load. Ah, okay. You got the stun lens, a lens that forced me staggers the photograph subject. To use it, equip it on your camera obscura and press X when you have enough spirit power. You got the switch upgrade. This allows you to equip and take pictures with different lenses. Oh my god, there's so much there's so much to this game. You can now use the camera obscura. Select your film. Wow. Select your lens. Oh shit. There does seem to be a ghost here. Oh my god. He's mad. Oh, oh, hello. Oh. Take a photo quick! There we go, now we're getting down to action. We got the face in there too. Oh shit! Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry! Yes. That was good. This is a lot creepier than I expected. <laughs> That was a bad. Oh! Oh! Nice. Alright, give the film a chance to go back in again. What is going on with this person? Are you good? Oh, you're dead. Okay, you're probably not good. It says it. Oh shit, there's another one here. Wait for it to get a little bit closer. And. Boom! They were saying it's best to do it as they're about to attack, so I guess that was the right way to do it. There we go, exercise. Camera Obscura must have been carried here by the current. That means Ahsoka is on the mountain too. But I should focus on finding Fuhuhu first. Uh, she can't have gone far. Apologies. I I'm not even going to try and pronounce it anymore. Fuhuhu? No. No, I've ruined it now. <laughs> now I'll never be able to say it properly ever again. <laughs> Hopefully she's not a, a long returning character. <laughs> oh no. We kind of saw a little bit of that earlier, didn't we? I can't see the bottom. Nobody could survive a drop of this height. <gasps> oh! I did not see that coming. Okay, okay, she's gone. That scared me. From here you can see the whole area below the waterfall. There's the shrine road right by the landslide and the path that leads up here. I don't know who that was, but she looked particularly powerful. A lot of these other ghosts are kind of like a bit faded, but she she had some real texture. All right, through here. Oh right, that's the uh, the memory, right? There we go. Well, I said I was going to play the first hour of this, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got past the first hour. But let's just play a little bit more. If you want to see more of this, though, I'll be streaming this on release uh, on Twitch. I'll put the link down in the description. We'll, we'll play this all the way through on my Twitch channel. I just wanted to put something on YouTube for those of you who are interested in getting the game on the first day. And I'll, I'll, I'll put it live right, right as the game goes live. And you guys can check out a little bit of gameplay, see what you think. As you can see, so far, I'm absolutely loving it. 
There was someone by the shrine on the other side of the river. Uh, was it for Hoo Hoo? Hmm. Alright, it seems to want me to go this way. The game definitely seems to be picking up in spooks. That lady who appeared behind us as we were looking over the uh, the mountaintop side. That was pretty creepy. And actually getting attacked by the ghost is actually... It did make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, there's an item over there. Well, I know where I'm going. Hoo-hoo's chase ends here. Oh, watch your hand. Oh, we're good again. There's a note lying among the dead leaves that looked like the hoo-hoo Haminos. She's a ghost, isn't she? I knew she was. I knew this was suspicious. I don't know what to do now that Hakara's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been so close since we were children. Now she's gone. I realise how important she is to me. How irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something uh, when she left that day. Maybe if I'd said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable. I should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. If Akura comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Wait, before we end things together? Maybe she'll be known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to tell her. Ooh. Alright. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 crap. I'm getting attacked over here. Quick selfie. Ah! Run away! These guys are way too close to my liking. That's the one. Oh, she's not dead. Hang on. Let's give it the chance to attack. Do it, you won't. Do it, you won't. She, she, she actually won't. She's gonna wait and bait me. Oh, sh there's another ghost here. Oh! That's the picture I wanted. God damn it. Attack! Wait, is there another one here? There is! Okay, she's still not dead, oh my god. Okay, no, she's dead, we're fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't be dramatic. Oh, oh, I forgot to hold down. I haven't been grabbed in a little bit and it's freaking me out. Okay, we've got some new film. New film is good condition, it's effective at exercising ghosts. Nice! So maybe I should switch to that. There we go. I think I did. I think I did it right. I saw another glowing item over here, I think. Wait, what was that? Was that a gravestone? Small Jizo statue, uh, Josu statue, I can't say, I'm sorry. With a calm expression. I've seen these small statues all over the forest. Did this place have some sort of spiritual significance? All right, off he goes. Show me the way, Mr. Spirit. Oh, here we go. What? What's that? Swept away maiden. So if your camera, like, um, starts triggering, like, a little shiny thing, like, in the corner of your, uh your eye line. Quickly whip out your camera and look at it. And it seems like you can get some extra ghost information. Alright, he's turning right, but... Oh! 
I think I see something over here. Is that more film? It is, nice. Wait, I, I can't even see where he went. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. I got distracted by film. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe this uh, shrine used dolls in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out for quite some time. Maybe exposed to the elements. Okay, seems legit. God damn it, I missed it again, didn't I? Alright, well this is definitely where they went. The door is shut and doesn't like for who who went in the shrine. Oh. Where, where, where? Oh, of course, I can take a picture of the doors and stuff like that. Oh no, there's a note here, never mind. So much going on. There's a page from a notebook on the ground. It looks like for who who's handwriting. Haruka, I've been, uh... Have I? Ha, oh, 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 oh. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduations. It was called the Song of Memories. Haruka and I looked to each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. If I hum that tune, I start to tear up. Oh, hello. All right, we're off, we're on travels again, apparently. Where are we going, spirit? Got him! Girl watching from behind. Oh, there's a bunch of kids here. Very cool. Alright, this is the way. I see collectibles. Hang on, ghost. You got sacred water. Clean water used for purification restores health completely. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank god. I thought we had to run into the water. That's never going to be good for us. Another item. Don't jump scare me! Okay, we're good. Oh! Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Was that one that get Oh shit! I forgot all about this because of the... I thought it was a cat, but it was, I think it was some poor soul falling from the, uh, the top of the mountain. Alright, well that was the first proper jump scare for me. <laughs> that, that definitely got me. There's a slip of paper on the ground that looks like something's written on it. I like it here. I can die alone here. There's no one to stop me. I can take things slowly. A peaceful, dignified death. Life is nothing but misery and suffering. I'm sick of it. Oh, that's so sad. God damn it. I really thought that was like a ghost cat or something. It's just the way it jumped out of nowhere. Oh, there she is. Fuyuhi. No, she didn't react. Alright, calling Fuyuhi. it. She's evil. Definitely evil. Haruka. She's here on the mountain. Have you seen her? No, but she's here. I I have to find her. Oh no.
to join the others. Hey, I'll go and look for Haruka. Let's go back. Hmm. Alright, I hate to say it, but I'm going to call it there. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my playthrough, uh, I'll probably put some of the Twitch VODs on YouTube as well, but otherwise I'll be streaming on ravenswindie.twitch.tv if you want to see more. Thank you again to the developers, the publishers, for giving me early access. I really, really appreciate it. This game is absolutely amazing. Uh, you can get it on Steam and... PlayStation and Xbox maybe and Nintendo Switch all, all those things so make sure you check it out it's a really fun experience so far I'm still early days in the game uh, a lot of the stuff has been tutorial so far we're only really getting into the the kind of ghost battles and stuff I'm assuming there's gonna be like boss battles and stuff like that too I don't know because uh, like I say I've never seen any gameplay before but absolutely loving it so far I hope you guys are enjoying it too thank you very much for hanging out and watching the video this far if you did I appreciate you and I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time bye bye